Welcome back to Factorio Space Age. My name is Neil Larson. We're continuing this uh, Let's Play. There will be a little bit longer between the episodes now, but uh, I still have many stories to tell. As you can see, we are working on science <clears throat> and we're going to be continue to work on legendary science in the extent that it makes sense. What I want to do today is a sort of a different perspective on the legendary science. Um, yeah, you can see red, green and purple. Purple is, I'm going to save that because that is an absolute nightmare. It has some of the craziest builds I've ever built to to get that so we'll save that a little bit but what I want to do is I want to go with the legendary uh, space science because uh, then that will also serve as a template which we can use for the green red and blue circ blue science in uh, in space maybe even the yellow one I don't know maybe 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 I don't know um, but Anyway, not for military because that's heavy on stone and stone for some reason can't be gotten from asteroids and also not for purple because the purple is a nightmare. So, space science. Well, uh, the thing with space science is that it's going to be made in space and look at this beautiful little thing here. Um, yeah, we're going to have to uh, to to destroy you. Um, sorry, but not sorry. We are going to be destroying you. Uh, I don't even think I can actually destroy this. And I'm going to build... I'm just going to build it over on this side because I think that's where I need it. Um, I'm going to take these out. Can I? Why can I not take... Oh, it's like the inventory is full. Okay, so I need to empty a little bit of the inventory first. There. Now it can start building on the other side. As long as one of them can be built, then it will add, gradually get it over there. Cool. So what we're going to do is we are going to make legendary science. And in order for us to make legendary science, we need some kind of... Uh, template and I'm gonna use this as our template and just extend it a little bit because this one doesn't have a lot of build space but we have it and then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna be uh, what oh that's not a good one this is actually only oh no um, let's see if we can find another one the gold was the last one we built so that's probably the best one there we go and that will be go over here to the science platform and stamp it down Good. So once we have this, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of different, like this thing here doesn't seem to be a thing that I want. I don't want this to be going out where, ooh. yeah, this is not it. <laughs> I don't want it to have, oh, wow, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, hmm. This is better. This is a better template. I wonder why I built this like that. So it could go to Aquilo, I guess. Hmm, don't need it. Don't need it to go to Aquilo. So we're starting to get some things in here and we can start reorganizing this. So the core of what I want here is I want to make it like a template of sorts that um, we can use for other things as well. So um, this part here is going to be taken out because that's kind of the stuff that is gen uh, not generic but specific. And all of this, I keep this as is. And then we'll have some kind of way in here. Um, I'm going to make a little bit more room, so I think that this would be just... This would be just a little bit more room, but very much a little bit more room. Um, but I think that's... Maybe that's what I want, but I also think I really want to push the, this part really a lot further down. Um, I don't want it to be a bigger ship than it needs to be, but I really like it this way where it's... Oh, that's interesting. How, how is that one just... No, maybe I just accidentally deleted it. Um, then all of this takes out. Here, here, and mm, I'm going to keep this because I'm probably going to need this a little, little bit. Like, obviously, this is going to be hovering over over Novice if we can, but it might be a difference or it might be needing to go somewhere else. What I'm going to take is I'm going to take this part and we're going to be enabling the grid. So I'm making sure that I align it properly. I'm going to be moving it a little bit further down. We're also going to be adding a few more rockets even though this one should not go anywhere then as i said is a template so if uh, if it is a template i want it to be uh, sort of more generic and this will be sort of a generic oh i'm building something in orbit that is using uh, legendary items so that will be something like this and that is nine ships so it should have a good thrust even though it's a big ship okay so what is it that we want to do well um, we, in this specific case, I want to build something. Uh, I want to build that legendary, which, and then we should see how silly that actually becomes, because it is uh, like first I'm like, oh, building it in space and legendary. Oh no, what's it gonna be like? Okay, this is already 13, 
So if we build three of these and then build like this, how would that be? Oh, really? Why? Why did? Why? Where did you go? How did they disappear? Did they drop down to the to the surface as I was unchecking that? I guess that they did. Huh? Weird. So a little bit more reorganizing here and it looks uh, kind of neat. Now we have sort of all the other stuff, all the structural logistics and we have a little bit of build space here. We could easily uh, make this further down here so that it becomes more of a brick instead of sort of having a protruding uh, engine section. There's also plenty of space here. I also have plenty of storage. I think I could use some more storage, but I don't think it's, I think this is enough. I'm also building a nice big legendary uh, here and I'm just having to squeeze it in so that they both can be connected at this point. Uh, these are here, but they are not getting any of the uh, fluid yet. So we'll do the fluid inbound here. Yeah, and I really love this part, how easy it is to actually just go in here. That's two and that's three, four and that was four. There we go, cool. I can extend this over further if I want and then just move this section up here if I need to. But I also like having some solar panels just because, but maybe I need more storage. I could need more storage. Anyway, if we look at this one, this is what we want to do. This is 57. I think 57 is like a good number. So now we need to count backwards and figure out, okay, so if I need 57 of this, that means I need 11.5 of, uh, of, uh, of this melting. Oh, I don't have this here, damn. Yeah, okay, so that's another thing I need to bring in. But, I am pretty sure I can find that somewhere down here and then see, oh, okay, that's not really telling us anything. Uh, what about this one? This should tell us something that's producing 22 as long as it's affected by two modules. If it's only affected by one module, let's have a look at how fast it then is. It's 16. So we definitely just, just a single one and this will also be affected by two modules. So we up here, that one should be fine as long as that one and that one. Good. Okay, so this will get us enough iron, and then we need to sort of count backwards. If uh, if we knew, if we need 11 point 11 point five five, then we have 50% productivity because of the two modules. So then we divide by 1.5. That means we need 7.7 .7 legendary iron per second, and iron ore, and then we need 5.7 and 5.7. So let's have a look at those numbers and kind of gauge whether those are good or bad or uh, whatever it is. Okay, these should not be here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly like what I do for the other ones. I'm just gonna make like a recirculation thing here. So it looks very much like the other build. Ooh, I should even go like that. Hey, symmetry all the way down. Um, then I know that I can't really guarantee that whatever comes in here is going to be in the right cycles. So I'm gonna have to do a rebalancer here. Luckily we have rebalancers on pretty much every ship, so it's just a matter of figuring out which one of the ships it is. Uh, let's do Heart of the Swarm, we probably have a good design here. Uh, where is it? Mm, that one, yeah, are you a good design? Kind of, kind of, we'll, we'll take you and then we'll adapt you over here. So, there. Okay, so the only thing we need now miss is the conditions. All of these have to be legendary and this one, Oh, I can't even change it manually. All right, with the overlay, there we go. This one is legendary over the legendaries and this one legendary. And then it shouldn't be 200, but let's do 50. That's a lot, but I want to store something on this belt. And then we'll do the same thing for the other ones. So just gradually change it. Good. Now, as I change these recipes, I will change them too. This is recirculating, but legendary there. This is recirculating or, re, what's it called? Reprocessing, yes. There, and reprocessing here. Good, so what we do now know is that we will try to keep maintain a balance of the different things here. Then I am going to build something more. I'm gonna get, get you a little bit over to that side and get you a little bit more space. So what is it I want to do here? Here I want to get into sort of a, a local buffer, I suppose. So I'm gonna be taking another one of these and I'm just trying to figure out what it is I want. Okay, so you're gonna be... See, the beauty is that I actually only need the iron, the 
carbon and the ice. So it's going to be really simple, this build, and it's going to be legendary. And then we also get to the point where we can see how insane this recipe is. So this is producing, without beacons, without anything, it's producing 60 per second. And remember, I needed eight. So that's a almost eight times as much as I need. And I'm working on more, pro mm, not really working very well, but I am working on uh, a little bit here. And if we look at how little it consumes, then it produces 0 0.28 per second. And of course, this is almost eight times more than I need. So let's call it seven times more. So if I divide that by seven, then it means it's 0 0.04 and legendary per second. So now we're sort of talking, okay, that's, um, that's four per minute. Okay, so we're looking at this four per minute. That seems very realistic when we're moving back and forth. Maybe also when we're hovering here, I don't know, but uh, certainly doesn't scare me at all. So what are we going to do? We are going to be taking this one in and I'm actually going to be getting outbound here. This will be, oh, uh, I fixed these and then I also should fix that. Good. And then I will have a, there. So this will output on the outside and I will also be inputting here on the inside, but that's really important. I want to make sure that I do not input the wrong things. So that should be here. I'm not going to put it in yet. And then I'm going to just take, say, I'm going to have some kind of circulation in here as well. So I'm going to be doing this. Uh, I can might as well control this. And you're going to be only inserting to the, that loop. If we have a total of less than, this is kind of a way to guarantee that I have buffers of everything. So I have a buffer here. I have a buffer in there, buffer, 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 buffer. I like big buffers and I cannot lie. So that is how we're gonna do it. Then I will also, oops. The funny thing is I don't need very much so I can actually just output it with a, <laughs> with a long hand inserter. It's kind of feels weird that I'm outputting with a long hand inserter, but I don't really need more. Oops, not like this, uh, like that. Yeah. So this build here, I am going to do three of those builds. One, two, and three. And that means again, this has to be extended a little bit. And let's just extend it like this. Then it looks nice and, nice and neat. Good. So we're gonna get up, up. These are used in the raw format. And this part, hmm. I don't need to have two of these input or inbound here. So we can make two with just this. And that's gonna be out, out, and out. Looking good. Um, then... I, I think we need to move one back. There. Good, and you're gonna be there. And then this is gonna be such a simple build. And output and inbound. Like that. So, the iron goes in. Sure, we can make it more compact. Uh, these. Feels a little weird to do it this way, but um, why not? That should actually work as long as I change these to the carbonic. Uh, where are you? You're here. Legendary carbonic. And then we're gonna wait for things to come in. Oh, that's a recirculating. Oh no, it's that one. And then also remember to get that back in. And what is our, it's 240. So we still need six more of, of these researchers before we can actually, uh, we, we cap out on the on the research there. And these are also gonna be changed. So I think it's time for us to hook this up and get started because we can see that it is uh, the other signs that are coming in slowly, but they're coming in, but not our new signs up here. So what we need to do is uh, we need to enable, enable and enable. And what we'll then see is that this is not going to get anywhere. So what we want to do is actually we want to go on a little trip with this one uh, just to see that, well, it is working, but it's not really working very well. So let's just go a trip to uh, Volcanus. Uh, let's go to Fulgora instead, honestly, because if we go to Fulgora, then I, yeah, I think that just makes more sense because I think it's colder by Fulgora. 
yeah, it's called a bifocal aura. So let's uh, get that. Oh, of course, we're not going to get that, are we? Because we, oh, we do have fuel. Yes. Okay, so everything is fine. Uh, the reason why we go out here is because we're going to grab a lot more, which means more processing, which means more reprocessing, more upcycling, and then this one should be going. So we'll just let it go to Fulgora, and then let's have a look when it comes back to back to Novus, and we'll just make it wait here for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Well, we've stopped back at Novus, and uh, let's have a look at what we are here. We see an absolute acute lack of anything. Hmm, that's not good. Uh, let's jump some of all of this. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea because we might want to do something else. But anyway, um, why is it not working then? Because you have not gotten a damn thing yet. Uh, that's I think I know why. <laughs> it's because this one has the wrong output. Okay, well that's uh, that makes sense. Uh, what is this? This is going to be carbon outbound. Outbound, yes. And this one is going to be ice outbound. Yay! So we get a little bit. Yes. All right. Come on, build. Yay, we got the first legendary um, space signs. Uh, I'm going to mark these as yellow once they're done. This one is getting close to... You can see the inner lane, which is coming from here, is going to be filled up. And then the outer lane is going to be fine. But that would be nice to see that this is uh, this would stop uh, when the other ones come in. You can see that this is chucking along nicely. Oh, this is actually misplaced, this, this one here. Ooh, I know that you've been yelling at me in the comment section. But alas, that is, uh, you can delete your comment now because I fixed it because now it actually didn't matter because this one was fast enough anyway, but hey, symmetry is nice. Uh, could I also just make it like this? That just looks a little nicer, doesn't it? That means the whole damn thing should be moved out. Oh, never mind. Ah, I found a mistake. Uh, I had forgotten to set this enabled. So what happened was that every single, this one was defaulted to not reprocess until with at least 50 on this belt but both of these were reprocessing everything so i couldn't understand why i was having so much of this and barely any uh, of these but now you can see that it is kind of working uh yes of course it's not working when i just made this change where i made it a little nicer and then as always when you make things a little nicer they tend to just break there we go all right, so now we have a full production and what we should see now is that we will continue to have full production uh, everything here will be fast enough. This one looks like it's starving, but it will be filling up this belt faster than it will be consumed, as we can see here. Uh, there is a net positive amount of iron, uh, a, a significant amount of that, plus 10 per second, uh, if this was working all the time, which it isn't quite, but almost. And we can see that even the ice is working. We just want to see that it stabilizes. And what we're now making is now we're making 50, 57 legendary space signs per second as you can see this design can be replicated if we just use the space then maybe we can in the next coming episodes do some red signs and green signs maybe even blue signs and maybe 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 even yellow signs there's still just leave some military signs which is annoying because of a lot of coal and uh, stone and then uh, the worst one is purple science so this is a good template and of course this template is available to patron supporters so if you are a patron supporter you can grab this blueprint if you want and then you can put it into your own base you can make many of them and then uh, each of those will make well 57 uh, legendary uh, legendary space science per second thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it until next time take care and stay effective